Hey there YouTube, this is CFL Fanatic. Uh, I'm giving you my picks for week 10 in the 2011 CFL season. Um, it's been three weeks since I uploaded a video. haven't done one since my pre-week 7 video, so I've been kind of slacking off there. It's getting more and more difficult to find time to make these videos, so I don't know, guys, I think I might call it quits after this season. We'll we'll see how, how I feel about it, but, you know, I'll still keep a channel, still keep making picks. So I kept trying to get a season, a week that wasn't 2-2. Two and two. Finally, on week 7, I got one that was 3-1, and one, but then I followed that up on week 8 with a uh, week that was 1-1, one and one, and then I followed it up with on week 9 with another 1-1 one and one week. So 8 of 9 weeks so far, I've been 500. That takes my total to 17 and 15. Schultz is creaming me now. 20 and 12. So, yeah. Uh, haven't been doing all that great. Um, but at least it means the season's been interesting, right? Okay, so on to week 10. Uh, first up, Friday Night Football. BC Lions taking on the Toronto Argonauts. Wait a minute. Friday, the Friday before Labor Day, and Toronto is playing BC. Something is wrong. Um, anyways, you know, because of scheduling conflicts... They obviously are playing each other. So, um, two teams in the league, uh, both two and six. Uh, if not for Saskatchewan, they would be like bottom dwellers. They still are bottom dwellers, basically. Not doing great. Toronto is not even close to being a contender. These two, if things were to keep the way they are, could end up fighting each other for that last playoff spot in the West, depending on how the rest of the season goes for them. Uh, but I have to say, Logic says BC is going to win this one. Toronto coming off a win against Saskatchewan that was about the ugliest game I've seen them play. Um, at least one of them in the entire season. BC, on the other hand, coming off a convincing win against the Eskimos. The Riders, though, shot themselves in the foot at every opportunity they got. The Argos still almost lost. And the Argos are going to be vulnerable against the BC offense. I think BC is going to win this one pretty handily. Uh, okay, uh, Winnipeg taking on Saskatchewan. So, on one side of the ball you have the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. First place in the league, 7-1. and one. On the opposite side you have the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Worst in the league, 1-7. and seven. So, usually... Um, when the Bombers visit Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan has the upper hand. In all the Labor Day matchups, really, uh, Labor Day weekend matchups, it's, um, it's usually the home team has a huge upper hand in that week, and they always usually win unless the other team is flat out way better than they are. Well, in this case, I hate to break it to the Ryder fans, but the Winnipeg Blue Bombers are eons better than the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Um... They're just, you know, they don't look like they can be stopped. Uh, Hamilton played a pretty good game last week, all things considered, against the Bombers. And Winnipeg still um, came away with the victory. So, um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Not much else to say. I'm going to have to take Winnipeg. Okay. Uh, on to Monday, September 5th, Labor Day. Uh, due to the scheduling conflicts, the Montreal Alouettes will now play Hamilton. Um, not a total loss here, because this could prove to be a very interesting match. Both teams coming off of a loss. Right now, you have the Montreal Alouettes are 5-3, second place in the East. On the other side of the ball, the Hamilton Tiger Cats 4-4, four four, third place in the East. With a win, though, Hamilton will overtake Montreal for that first place spot. Um or for that second place spot in the East, or at least they'll, they'll tie. So this could be very interesting, and Hamilton has a good shot. Remember, Hamilton has already beaten Montreal uh, once before this season so far, week five. They beat the Alouettes pretty handily. Um, so it, this could be interesting. I think Montreal, though, um, underestimated Calgary a little bit last week. Uh, a bit of a back-and-forth match. It was kind of interesting. But they are walking into Hamilton, and as an Argo fan, I know firsthand the hostility of a Hamilton crowd on Labor Day. Montreal is about to find this out firsthand. I'm taking the Tiger Cats. And finally, last but not least, the Edmonton Eskimos and the Calgary Stampeders. So Edmonton Eskimos started off the season strong. 5-0. and oh. Now they are 5-3. and three. So what has gone wrong? Well, injuries are a big factor. Um, Fred Stamps is the biggest one. Um, and you have a whole slew of Eskimo receivers that are injured. Um, and 
just various injuries have been huge problems. The other thing I think it's important to look at is, was Edmonton really as vastly improved this year over last year as we initially thought they were? I think, to be honest, the short answer is no. I mean, they held their own against the Bombers for the first half of that game. Since then, they didn't do well. They had played a terrible game against Toronto, one that if the referees had actually been paying attention, they would have lost. And then they had a horrible game against Montreal, horrible game against BC. Uh, Calgary, on the other hand, coming off a win against Montreal, it's going to easily be Calgary. And Edmonton's just not, not that great a team. That's the facts. Okay, so those are my picks in case you missed them for Labor Day weekend. Um, always, always fantastic. We usually go away Labor Day, so I don't often get to see the Labor Day, Labor Day games. Even though they're different this time around, I think it should be interesting. So I will see you next week.